thank you for having me here uh, as you know the topic is empowering indian msme through digital transformation the world is moving towards digitization everything is getting digitized now how adobe can help you in this digitization journey that is something which i like to cover today uh, in the next 15 to 20 minutes you will going to see what type of solution we have which will help you to grow your business to grow your uh, operations things like that Adobe is a digital experience company. Adobe is now 40 year old company. In India, Adobe is now 25 year old company. And uh, when we say the word Adobe, what comes in your mind? What what is the first thing comes in your mind when you hear the word Adobe? Maybe someone will think Acrobat, PDF, or maybe Photoshop, right? Photoshop is the one which <laughs> most of the people think of, or uh, PDF is also sometimes people think because when you open a PDF file, uh, it get open in Acrobat Reader or Acrobat Pro, whatever you are using. Uh, let me tell you what Adobe is all about. So we have th uh, three solutions. The first one is Adobe Creative Cloud. Anything and everything related to creativity, designing. When it comes to design and creativity, Adobe names come first in everyone's mind. Be it you want some graphics designing thing or maybe you are looking for some uh, 3D designing, or maybe you are looking for some website mobile app designing. Adobe is the solution which people are using around the world to create those kind of a content. Or maybe something related to packaging designing. Even for that also we have a solution which allow you to create a packaging design or a publication design like flyer, brochure, those kind of a thing. The second is the Adobe Document Cloud. Anything and everything related to documentation, productivity, those are the things where Adobe Document Cloud help you. PDF is the format which is created by Adobe. Adobe is the founder of the Adobe PDF format. So anything related to documentation that falls under Adobe Document Cloud. And the last business unit which we have is something called Adobe Experience Cloud. This is a that is, this is one of those business which not many people are aware about, but Adobe is very much into customer journey, customer analytics, and also like you can say, sort of campaign designing and those kind of a solution which we provide. So the Adobe Experience Cloud, it's a completely, uh, you can say sort of a business which deals with anything related to grow your business and get more traffic on your website, on your mobile app, running your campaign, running your your paid paid media kind of a thing, those kind of a thing. So that is our Adobe Experience business. Today I'm going to touch upon the first two pillars, which is Creative Cloud and Document Cloud. When we say the word Adobe Creative Cloud, Adobe Creative Cloud is actually a collection of 20 plus industry leading application. These applications are like Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro for video editing. Those kind of solutions are there, which allow you to cater all your need related to designing. This also includes some of our 3D solution also, which allow you to create 3D models, 3D content, like maybe if you want to design some fashion apparel, textile, or maybe something related to footwear designing. Many of the big brands in India and also, the, also globally are already using Adobe solution to create their 3D prototyping and 2D prototyping with the help of uh, the Adobe solution. Adobe Creative Cloud also include a marketplace which is called Adobe Stock. So let's say you do not have a uh, designer who can design a 3D model. You can go on our Adobe stock and download a 3D model and you can use that 3D model for your commercial project. Let's say you want to download some footwear, you can download that, make changes into it and you can use it for your commercial purpose. So those kind of content we provide on our Adobe stock or maybe let's say you are creating some kind of a packaging design and you are looking for some pattern design. So you can go on our, on our Adobe stock website, we provide millions and millions of patterns which you can download and you can use it for your commercial purpose. 
Adobe Creative Cloud also consists of something called connected services, which is which allow collaboration. So let's say if if you work in a hybrid mode, some of your designer are sitting in house or some of your designers are sitting in the office. They can collaborate virtually with the help of by sharing the file uh, over the internet with the help of Creative Cloud ecosystem. And last but not the least, the talk of the town. I think today. In today's time, no seminar get untouched without saying this word, generative AI or AI in general, right? So Adobe is also very much into generative AI. It allows you to create uh, Im visual images just by writing a prompt. And Adobe generative AI is different from all the other generative AI model which you might aware about because we have trained this on our own data. We have not trained Adobe generative AI solution on any copyrighted content, which means whatever it will create, you are free to use that for your commercial purpose. And Adobe is the first company who came up with the idea of indemnification. Even if you generated something with the AI, because AI can generate anything, right? Even if you generate something with AI, Adobe will give you indemnification if something went wrong with that particular content. So <clears throat> the generative AI as a service is now available within our creative solution. So if you, if, if in your team, if you have a designer who are using Photoshop, Illustrator, or any of those kind of a software, they can use the power of generative AI to quickly create the content. If they, if they are taking 10 hours or 8 hours to create a content, maybe they will be able to complete in, in one hour or one and a half hour. So this is our complete solution uh, in the creative ecosystem. And uh, happy to deep dive more with any one of you if you want to understand more. But now, let me talk about documents. Business run on the document. And when we say the word document, there are many formats, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF. Let me ask you, when you complete your work, let's say you are writing something on Word, let's say you are making some sheet on, on, on Excel. When you complete your job, you always save the file I'm sure most of you save the file in a PDF format when you want to share that file with someone else, right? Why we save in PDF? Because we do not want someone to edit that content, right? It's a final content. When, when we want to archive our content in our storage, maybe on cloud storage or maybe in our hard disk, do we archive in a Word Excel PowerPoint file? Maybe not. Maybe we convert it into PDF and then archive it so that it should not be editable by anyone. So it's, and also since morning till now, I'm sure many of you must have opened one or two uh, PDF attachment in your email inbox to see some kind of information, right? So it's right to say that most very common format in a business is a PDF format. If there is a challenge, with a PDF format in your organization, it's a challenge with a document. And if, the, if it is a challenge with a document, it's a challenge with a business. So you need to make sure how your documents are flowing, how, how they are secure, how they are uh, not get tampered or compromised by anyone. 400 plus billion PDF files are opened within the Adobe products like Adobe Reader, which many of you might be using, Adobe Acrobat, which might, many of you might be using. So we got this data that around 400 billion, in, in fact, now this value has grown up, this data is from 2022, but this is the volume of PDF file which people open around the world. 40% of all documents received in Outlooks are in PDF as an attachment. So Microsoft, we got this information from Microsoft that the attachment which comes in, in, in an email, out of in the 40% attachments are in a PDF format. And I'm not talking about here your bank statement or credit card statement. Those are your personal thing. I'm talking about the business documents which you are receiving. Those are in a PDF format. The most critical business data such as financial report, annual reports are published in a PDF format on the website or in the public forum or even internally also when you are flowing these documents, these are in a PDF format. There are trillions of PDF files right now 
flowing in the entire internet world, uh, be it in your email cloud or on the website. And it's the number one document format across the world. So everyone who is dealing with a document is aware about this particular format. So what we can do with this format, what are, because it's a very common format, what, what else we can do besides reading just the document, what else we can do? And that's where we came up with this solution uh, where we actually have divided our solution in four pillars. The first one is the reinventing document experience with, with a generative AI. The idea here is when you are opening a document and reading a document, you are spending some time in reading that document. How can we reduce that time by using, by taking the help of generative AI? Anywhere productivity. We have a Acrobat software on your desktop we also have an Acrobat software for your mobile phone and we also have an Acrobat solution on the website. So wherever you are going, you will be able to open your PDF file either on the go, on your desktop, on your, or maybe on your phone or maybe on, let's say, on any browser. So anywhere productivity means anytime you can access the PDF file. <coughs> Data protection and compliance, a very important point. Just because you create a .pdf file, it doesn't mean that that file is secured. Until unless you didn't put an encryption or a password protection on top of that. I'll talk about more on that. And the last but not the least, document automation. We Adobe provide a lot of API solution which will help you to automate many document related tasks. What are those tasks? I'll, I'll cover up on that. Let's first discuss uh, Accelerate Document Productivity Gen AI. A business person, a person who has to deal with lot of document in day to day, a person who have to read lot of document and consume the information from the document, uh, that person is spent average eight hours per week in just consuming the information from that document and writing and basis on that consumption, that person is maybe writing an article, maybe doing some analysis, those kind of a thing. How can we reduce this time? Is your job is only to go to office and just keep on reading 100 page document, 50 page document, 30 page document, and maybe out of that 30 page, only two pages actually of your re relevance and the rest of the page may be not of your relevance. So how can we reduce your time and quickly find it out the information which you are looking for? And that is where we came up with the idea of a AI assistant in Adobe Acrobat Pro. AI assistant allow you to ask questions from your document and this AI assistant will only give you the answer from the document. If the answer is not available within the document, it will say that the, the, uh, the, the response which you are looking for is not available within the document. Let me show you an example here. This is a legal document. Uh, you can say a policy document actually. It's a around six page document and I want, I want to get a summary of this document. I'm not a legal guy. I will take a lot of time to uh, go through this entire document and read each and every line. So what I will do, I will quickly generate a summary of this six page document. It can be six page or a hundred page document. As you can see, the summary has been generated. And now I can actually see the, in a very well formatted, in a bullet pointer, the entire summary of the document. The thing which I was going to take one hour or two hour, I can do that within 10 minutes. I can copy the information and paste it maybe in my email or if I'm writing any report, I can paste it there. I can also ask question. I want to know what are the key points of this document. Now it will actually make a pointed, pointed report from the document and it will give me citation, attribution that from which page that information is coming, that blue number one, two, three, will actually give you the so, uh, source of truth that the information is not actually making by the AI, it actually copied from the document. This is the another example of interim budget 2023-24. I can ask question here. 
how many street vendor receive credit assistance from pms swanidhi yojana 78 lakh people receive here's the information on page number 9 it will take lot of time to find it out this information but just by writing a question i can ask uh, things draft an email to the head of the department summarizing this document dear department head hope you find this email useful the entire summary of the document is written there and regards your name and you can copy this information and paste it within few minutes you will get the entire information from this 32 page document be it a legal report be it a research report be it financial uh, uh, financial report you can find it out the information very quickly now i showed you this example on two document but you can think of any document which you have to read and you will able to find it out information very quickly and you can save lot of your time this is as i said uh, adobe acrobat is not only a solution which allow you to read a pdf file it also allow you to create a pdf file edit a pdf file and also you can do the ocr on the pdf file so lot of other functionalities are also available within the pdf file modern collaboration you can invite other people also on your pdf file to comment annotate on the same file so you can simply share the link of the pdf file or just write their email id within acrobat pro and they will receive a invitation link to join uh, you on the same file integration into existing tool and workflow microsoft is our strategic partner once you install the adobe acrobat pro you will able to use adobe acrobat within your microsoft teams within ms word excel powerpoint and also sharepoint and onedrive so let's say you have a word file or a excel file on onedrive and somebody say please send me a please send me your file and you are planning to send send him in a pdf format how you will do you will download the file from outlook uh, 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 from onedrive or sharepoint and then convert it in pdf then you share but if you install acrobat in your machine you will automatically see the acrobat option within onedrive and sharepoint without downloading the file you can convert the file into pdf just by using the feature within the onedrive or sharepoint so that is the tight integration which we have done with the help of microsoft protection is a very important thing just as i said earlier just because you create a pdf file it doesn't mean it's a secure pdf we allow you feature to put a password protection we allow you feature to put a encryption on your document so that no one will able to edit your pdf file now i am not talking about here protection which you see when you receive your bank statement right it's ask you to put a password and then only your bank statement or credit card statement gets open that that's very annoying if you are sending the file within the doc, within the organization you cannot expect that every employee within the organization will put a password to view the document right so we allow you features where you can give the reading right to anyone but you can restrict the right to edit the document to print the document or to modify the document so anyone can double click and open the file and can go through the content but that person cannot copy the information that person cannot modify the document those kind of uh, restrictions you can apply on the document sandboxing sandboxing is, is is a feature which allow you to open a pdf file in a restricted environment so that if the file is malicious it will not able to harm your computer or your entire network let me give you an example of sandboxing nowadays if you open a word file let's say you download some word or excel file you open that file you not able to edit the file immediately on the top there is a button called edit you need to click it's that that environment is called sandboxing environment because if the file is malicious that that malicious code or the virus will only be contained within that sandboxing environment once you are satisfied that this is a legit document then you click that button and the rest of the functionality get enabled right so because pdf becomes a very common format many cyber attack hackers are using pdf format as a source 
to send the malicious code. Many times I'm sure you receive those malicious email which have a PDF attachment, right? The moment you download, I know nowadays people are quite vigilant, they know that not to open all these attachments. But if you open those attachments, they will actually execute some kind of a code in your system and the entire network will get compromised. So we provide a feature, something called sandboxing, which restrict the PDF file to directly connect with your entire operating system or the entire network. So if the, if the file is malicious, it will not spread across the entire network. Redaction including metadata. Let's say I want to send out a document to someone, but I want to hide certain information, certain sensitive information within that document. We provide a feature called redaction. With the help of this, you can redact certain information within the document and there will be no mean to retrieve that information which you have redacted from the document. Even if you convert that PDF file in any other format, that information will completely delete it. So something like PII kind of information or maybe some uh, other confidential numbers or figures which you want to hide, you can do that with the help of redaction feature. This is a real example of a financial report, uh, annual report, which was published on the website of one company. Somebody downloaded that report. It was not protected, changed the revenue from 75 million to 15 million, and sent this document to the financial journalist. This is the real case which has happened few years back in the US, where when the financial journalist received that document, he thought that the revenue is 15 million. You can assume what happened to the share of that company next morning. So it's super important the PDF files which you are posting on your website should be protected for any compromisation. Now here this file is protected. Now if I try to edit, it will not get edited. Because if you edit it, if I change that 75 million to 15 million, I can change anyone's revenue on, on the table. And I can share that information with newspaper or any journalist. The font and everything will be matched. So it's important just because we make a .pdf, it doesn't mean it's a safe file. Coming on to the automation solution which we provide, uh, API related solutions. So something like a business run in a large volume, right? Business didn't run in one or two kind of a volume. So we have a solution, something called document, data-driven and customized document generation. For example, you want to generate contracts, NDAs, offer letters, invoices. These are those documents which I'm taking name. You will get the sense these are those documents where the layout remains same and only few information gets changed, right? Now, document generation allow you to create your template and connect the API with your database. And the moment you run this particular API, it will pull the information from your database, put it in the template, and flush it out the PDF file or whatever format you are looking for. In one go, millions and billions of contract, offer letter, whatever you want to generate, where the most of the language remains same and only few information keep on getting changed. So that information can be pulled from your uh, uh, customer database and it can be placed in the document. PDF extract API, this is a very popular API which many, many of our customers are using. This API allow you to extract the information from a PDF file and push that information to any of your internal system like Power BI or any analytic system. Let me give you an example. Let's say you receive an invoice in a PDF format, okay? And you have already defined the layout. Now the moment that invoice will come, Extract API will pull all the figure from that invoice and push it to your SAP or some kind of a procurement system or financing system you are using. So no one has to put all the figure manually in the system. This is the feature which many companies are also using to create their own AI model. How you will create your own AI model? You will only able to create your own AI model when you have a data. How you will get the data? You will get the data which, all, which is already there in your documents. You just need to pull out, okay? Because AI will not understand what is PDF, what is Word, what is Excel. It's need a data in some techni technical format like JSON or a JavaScript or something like that or CSV for that matter. So Extract API will pull all your information from the PDF file and you can share that information within any of your internal system like ERP or 
maybe a HRMS or whatever solution you are using. Accessibility API, nowadays government of India is also promoting a lot that many, that your documents need to be accessibility enabled so that it can be read by a machine. So if, if a visually challenged person or a disabled person is going through your document, he should be able to read that document. And last but not the least, if you want to sign uh, invoices in bulk digitally, how can you do that? For that, we have an e-signing solution which allow you to sign invoices or any document which you want to sign in bulk with our signing solution. So we have a digital signing, electronic signing solution which allow you to sign individual documents also and document in bulk also. Some of the use cases, supplier contract. Supplier contract documents you can automatically generate with the help of our API. Once it will get generated, you can automatically send out for the signing purpose. So it will, the moment it will get generated, it will automatically send out over the email for electronic signing purpose. Electronic sign is very much applicable in India according to IT Act 2000. Uh, uh, electronic signing or digital signing is valid in India. So you, many of our customers are generating automatic contract and because the email ID is mentioned there, the automation system automatically sent out that document to the receiving party for his signature. No human intervention required. Bulk signing of invoices, I already gave you the idea how, how we support bulk signing of not only invoices or any document which you want to sign in bulk. Send for signing via SMS. Many blue collar workers didn't have email IDs, right? They don't, do not access emails, they don't have email, but still you want to do a contract with them. So what you can do, you can send out a document through a SMS link and the moment they click that link, the entire document will get open on their phone and they can digitally sign that document. Very popular solution, many of our customers using because, because even though they, they are blue collar worker, but you have to do a contract with them, right? And digital is the best way to do, even uh, the government is also promoting to perform a digital uh, uh, contract signing and all. So send for signing via SMS is the solution where you do not need an email ID of the other person. You just need a phone number of that person. Uh, I will not take name here, but one of the leading private banks in India are already using this solution. So maybe if you are signing the document, the link which you receive on your phone, maybe the solution which is running behind is the Adobe technology. FAQ document translation, this is a very specific kind of a use case which I, which we got to hear from uh, customers like you. Uh, they have a lot of manuals which need to be converted in vernacular languages. So how can we do that? So to convert any document in vernacular languages, in different languages, the machine should able to read the document, machine should able to understand the document and that is where our extract API comes into picture. It extract API will pull out all the information from your manual document, FAQ document or SOP document and once the information is pulled, you can convert it in any language by using any language translation application. So this is also one of the use cases which we heard from some of our manufacturing customers. We feel that any department who deal with the document, Adobe has a role to play there. We can help you out to digitize your solution, be it HR, sales, procurement. I believe there is no department in a company who, who say that we do not deal with any document, right? Because business runs on, on document only. So we can help you out. I'm, I'm here for a while. If you want to talk more or if you want to share some of your workflow or use cases and you want how I do, we can help you that. Uh, happy to indulge in that discussion. Uh, these are some of the company around the world who are already partnered. This is just one slide. Otherwise, most of the companies are there in India and globally are already using Adobe solution. With that, thank you everyone. Thank you for your attention.